Wondering about EV battery life? We've got you covered. Did you know that an EV battery can last for over 10 years? But how long will yours last? This video answers all your burning questions about electric vehicle batteries, including how much does it cost to replace an EV battery? How often do they need to be replaced? And is a used electric car worth the investment? Whether you're a seasoned EV owner or just curious about the electric future, this video has everything you need to know. But first, to understand how these batteries work, let's break down exactly what they are and how do they power our rides. Explained simply, electric vehicles or EVs use a type of battery called a lithium-ion battery. It's worth noting that an EV battery is also called a battery pack because it's made up of a collection of tiny energy pockets or modules. Each module contains hundreds of individual cylindrical battery cells, similar to the AA and AAA batteries you might use in everyday devices. These cells work together to store and provide electrical energy for the electric vehicle, which means the battery pack provides the energy needed to power the EV and give it driving range. So essentially, these batteries are really good at storing a lot of energy in a small space, which is why they're used in electric cars. It's important to note that there is another type of revolutionary EV battery technology called the blade battery. The blade battery uses lithium iron phosphate or LFP as the cathode material, which is much safer than conventional lithium ion batteries. The blade battery also has excellent thermal stability and is substantially cobalt free, making it an attractive choice for electric vehicles. This technology is developed by BYD, a leading global electric vehicle maker from China. Toyota is also adopting the innovative blade battery technology. Curious to learn more? Let me know in the comments. Now that we've learned about the impressive blade battery, let's talk about how to keep any EV battery healthy in general. EV batteries typically last a long time and keeping your electric car battery healthy is rather simple, but you need to know that your electric vehicle battery performance changes over time and that's normal. Lithium ion batteries prefer partial charge cycles rather than full discharges. A battery cycle refers to the number of times a battery can be charged and discharged before its performance starts to decline. So every time an electric vehicle battery goes from 100% to 0%, it completes one cycle. Aim for a charge between 20% and 80% most of the time. This helps maximize battery life. Now, after getting acquainted with the basics of electric car batteries, a crucial aspect to consider for any battery is its ability to maintain performance over time. This is where EV battery degradation comes in. Let's explore the factors that influence this process and how they impact the lifespan of your battery. Batteries aren't immune to aging. Over time, they naturally lose some of their power. Kind of like your phone battery holding less charge after a few years. This process is called degradation, and it's totally normal. The same happens with your car's battery pack. Three main factors affect how fast this happens. One, the use. That's basically how the car is driven. Two, the environment. That would be the climate of your location, how your vehicle is charged, and prolonged inactivity. And three, the age, that's how long the battery has been used. Most EVs experience a 5% to 10% capacity loss within the first 40,000 miles. But don't worry, after that initial drop, they usually stabilize and keep about 80% to 90% of their original power for 100,000 miles and beyond. I've heard rumors saying that if your EV battery range threshold reaches 70% or less, it should be replaced. While those claims are interesting, based on my research for this video, I couldn't find any evidence or scientific data to confirm them. So, while electric car batteries do degrade, it's not as dramatic as some viral posts claim. Now, we need to break down each of the causes of battery degradation to identify the main culprits. So let's dive right in and see how your driving habits can affect your EV battery's health. Ever pushed your EV to the limit with a burst of speed? While exhilarating, those moments can also put a dent in your battery range. After all, not all driving is created equal. Your driving style matters for EV range. That's the distance an electric vehicle can travel on a single charge. Cruising down the highway conserves battery life, but weaving through traffic and hitting the brakes often can quickly deplete your EV's range. Aggressive maneuvers like rapid acceleration and hard braking can drain your battery quicker. In this case, the solution is quite simple. Try to aim for a smoother driving style for optimal battery life. 
Just like filling up less often with gas, you can maximize the distance you travel on a charge by adjusting your driving habits. Consistent speeds and gentler braking help conserve energy, extending your range and keeping your battery happy. We've seen how your driving habits can impact battery health, but external factors also play a role. Let's see how your location's climate can affect your EV's battery life. From sunny California to chilly Quebec, North America serves up a buffet of climates. Scorching summers to frigid winters, extreme temperatures can shorten an EV battery's lifespan. Just like your smartphone struggles in extreme heat or cold, so too can electric vehicle batteries. The good news, most EVs are equipped with thermal management systems to regulate battery temperature. The Battery Thermal Management System, or BTMS, focuses specifically on managing the battery's temperature, not to be mistaken for the Battery Management System, or BMS, that monitors and controls the battery's state. The BTMS uses cooling and heating to make sure the battery doesn't get too hot or too cold. You can help maintain optimal battery health by parking in shaded areas during hot days and limiting exposure to freezing weather whenever possible. Let me know in the comments if you can relate to the EV lifestyle in extreme temperatures. Beyond the influence of your local climate, another factor to consider is how parking habits can impact battery life. What if you're going on vacation or just taking a break from your EV? Here's how to keep your battery healthy for long-term parking. Avoid leaving your car unused for over a month. If you really have to, try to park with a 50 to 75% charge. This reduces stress on the battery compared to a full or very low charge. Now, how does inactivity affect your battery? While parked, your battery will naturally lose a small amount of charge over time, which is normal. For second-hand electric car owners, keep in mind that older batteries have less capacity and may run out faster, so try to minimize inactivity periods to help maintain optimal battery health. We've unpacked the factors that can influence an EV battery's endurance. Now, let's put that knowledge to work and answer the million-dollar question, how long can you expect an EV battery to last? Well, that depends. Just like for your smartphone, your EV battery performs best when treated well. And just like your phone, over time, the battery's capacity, or how much energy it can hold, gradually decreases, which is totally normal. As mentioned earlier, some may degrade faster, especially if exposed to extreme temperatures or rapid charging. Most EV batteries last around 10 to 15 years before the degradation becomes an issue. To put that in context, the average car on American roads is 12 and a half years old. So don't worry, even after 10 years from the original purchase, the battery will still work. It just won't go as far on a single charge. One thing to keep an eye on is your warning lights. Your car's dashboard might show a warning light related to the battery. It's like a little red flag saying, hey, something's up. Next, let's talk about reduced range. If your car can suddenly go way less distance on a single charge than usual, it could be a battery issue, not just the battery getting older. To find out if there's a fix for your car, you can search online or ask your favorite AI assistant for any news or official notices from your car company. However, car makers themselves can sometimes find problems that could make the battery unsafe or not work as well. They'll let you know if there's a recall for your car. If that happens, they'll call in all the affected cars to fix those issues, kind of like a doctor's appointment for your car. You should probably trust the fix. If your car maker says to bring your car in for a recall, do it. They'll make sure your battery is healthy and fix or replace it if needed, free of charge. Click the card on your screen to learn more on car recalls. Manufacturers often offer warranties on battery health, so check your specific coverage. Given the typical lifespan of an EV battery, the next questions are, how much does it cost to replace an EV battery? And how often do they need to be replaced? The need to replace an electric vehicle battery depends on several factors, but like I previously implied, most people won't need to replace their EV battery at all during the time they own the car. But if, unfortunately, your electric car's battery malfunctions, causing a sharp decrease in driving range and the warranty is expired with no recalls, replacing the battery becomes necessary. Let's break down the next steps to get you back on the road. First things first, you need to get a battery health report to understand its condition and remaining lifespan. Do some research. Check with local service centers for estimates. Visit an authorized service center or a certified mechanic who specializes in EVs. Battery replacement costs vary widely based on your car model, battery size, and labor fees. But generally, 
expect to pay between $5,000 to $15,000 for a new battery. However, prices are gradually decreasing as technology improves. Don't attempt it yourself. Remember, never try to replace or repair an EV battery on your own. Battery repair or replacement should only be done by a qualified professional. So in summary, there's no fixed threshold for battery replacement. Having addressed battery replacement costs and frequency, let's find out if a used EV is worth the investment. The first thing to know is that used EVs hold their value better than gasoline cars. This means you might get a better deal up front and possibly when you resell the car later, you'll also likely save money on fuel expenses. EVs run on electricity, which can be cheaper than gasoline. Also, electric cars have fewer moving parts compared to gasoline-powered cars, likely leading to less frequent and costly maintenance visits. Before buying a used electric vehicle, make sure you have a qualified mechanic check the battery's health. This ensures the battery can deliver optimal performance and has a long lifespan. Another consideration to think about is charging. It's also important to make sure you have access to charging stations at home and along your regular routes. Convenient charging options are essential for a smooth EV ownership experience. So is it worth it or not? Let's say for example that you're at a dealership and test drove the car, but the battery has stabilized around 70%. That car may still serve you well. But if, on the other hand, the battery's capacity is already at 50%, it may degrade further over time. But the ultimate decision is yours to make. Need more used car buying tips? Click the card for our video on that topic. It's free. Charging forward. This next part explains the differences between EV chargers and connectors, a key topic for newer EV owners and those considering going electric. Now here's a quick guide to help you pick the ones that work best for your electric car. There are three main charger types, offering a range of charging speeds. Level 1, the slowest, plugs into a regular wall outlet and is ideal for overnight charging at home. Level 2, or AC, faster than level 1, this type is commonly found at public stations and can also be installed at home. It's perfect for topping up your battery during the day. Level 3, also known as DC fast charger, this is the fastest charging option ideal for long trips. However. It's important to note that frequent use of DC fast charging can stress the battery. Ideally, rely on slower charging methods for everyday use and reserve fast charging for when necessary. Now, the connector is like the plug you use to charge your phone, but for electric cars, it's the part that goes into the car to give it power. Just like you match the right charger to your specific phone model, different electric cars have different connectors. Some are faster, like the ones at roadside stations and others take a bit longer. Now, let's focus on the connectors for North American EV drivers. Most EVs use the standard J-plug or Type 1 connector, commonly found on models like the Nissan LEAF, Chevrolet Bolt EV, or Hyundai Kona Electric. This means this same connector can be used for regular charging at home or public stations and even for fast charging with CCS stations. CCS stands for Combined Charging System Station. It's a type of public charging station designed for fast charging electric vehicles. However, Tesla uses a different connector, so Tesla vehicles like the Model 3 and Model Y require a separate adapter for stations with the J-plug. Remember, for super-fast Level 3 chargers, different connectors are used again, so check your car's compatibility before use. With proper care and a mix of charging options, your EV battery can last for years. That was a lot. Quick recap for clarity, the charger is a box or device that you usually find at charging stations. It's usually mounted on a wall or a stand, like a gas pump for electric cars. It's where the electricity comes from, while the connector is the actual plug that connects the charger to your car's charging port. Now that you understand the different charger types and connectors, this knowledge unlocks the secrets of your EV battery. But how far can an electric vehicle travel on a single charge? And what happens when your EV battery runs out on the road? Click the video on your screen to find out how to avoid getting stranded and enjoy worry-free electric travel. If you got anything from this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let us know what you would want us to cover next. For more car content, visit our blog, carsimplyclub.com. Thank you for watching until the end. I really appreciate your support. This was Car Simply.